Hey, Groovers, I am absolutely bloody knackered and my neck, oh, there I was. I was just thinking this morning, my neck doesn't hurt anymore and I've had two bouts of extreme neck pain this week. Well, I've been incredibly busy. I went on a supermarket crawl, just like a pub crawl, but you go to supermarkets instead and you buy up more food than you need. <laughs> so I was fully intending to do uh, my big hot pot today my sort of um so I call it my superfood hot pot but I got back so late I obviously well, not obviously but I take mum around the shops as well um so I went to Poundland bought more um th these these vinyl tiles they're really good um I'm using them on top of a table it's a wooden table but I've actually covered it in a sheet of plastic just for protection and then I've put these square vinyl tiles on I haven't even glued them I've just placed them um I mean I can glue them at a later date if I decide I want to they're backed with um a, a sheet that you peel off and you can stick to surfaces so they're, they're floor tiles um and they're sort of marble black marble and they just they look fantastic they're really easy to clean um they're you know they're not going to um you know, if, if I spill stuff on them, they should be fine. Um, I mean, obviously, you wouldn't want to burn them per se. You wouldn't want to try and, you know, take a hot iron to them because they're plastic. You wouldn't want to do that. But they, they're they really hard wearing and the, the design is absolutely perfect for my Gothic kitchen or as we now call it, um, the urban maximalism kitchen or the urban max, maximalist kitchen. Um, so... Uh, anyway, I went and bought another pack of these, so that now the whole table's covered. I mean, it looks just it looks fantastic, guys, honestly. Um, and then I needed to sort of display things, and um, they're doing now. If I don't know if you've noticed, but if you go online, anything that's now made of bamboo because it's supposed to be organic and kind to the planet and various other things, they're charging an arm and a leg for it. But Poundland had these really lovely storage jars with a rubber seal at the top and a spoon that fits in the side. Um, with the, the spoon is bamboo and the lid is bamboo. And these are absolutely perfect for my chia, my flax, um, my cocoa, uh, and the cocoa powder. All of these things, absolutely perfect in these, in these sealable storage jars. Pots. I mean, I only got three because I, I've got a. I think I've got four actually, but I, I've got a. I had to carry them on my bicycle because I hadn't picked the car up yet for the proper crawl. This was just part of the crawl. Um, so, and I realised that you know Poundland isn't a, a supermarket, but I got so much stuff. I really did. Um, what else did I get? Just display things, measuring, measuring things. You know, half cup, quarter cup, tablespoon, all of that stuff. Um, so I, I only spent about fifteen pounds, I think. Um, really, just I'm surprised actually that I got exactly what I wanted at Poundland, because normally their ranges are ghastly. You know, their crockery ranges, but they're doing this pure white, pure white range, and and it's kind of it's not really glazed, so it's not like really garishly sh shiny, and I wanted that because it's so much better on camera. You don't get the the glare. Do you see what I mean? I mean, it's a little bit shiny. It's more, it's more of a satin finish. And I just thought these are really great. These are superb for what I need. Um, so, yeah, I bought some uh, other pots and different, you know, sort of things. Um, filled up the, the bicycle. Had to go to mum's and then, you know, get mum in the car so that we could go to Aldi. We went to Aldi first. And I've bought everything I need for my rather gorgeous superfood hot pot, crock pot meal, which we will be doing tomorrow morning. Um, I've got all the ingredients. The kitchen looks glorious because it's got all this lovely fresh food in it, you know. Um, most of it from um, Aldi. I'm going around Aldi and I say to mum, I'm looking for tofu because I'd, I'd come across an Aldi recipe for a curry. And you could buy all the ingredients at Aldi. I mean, the, the that that was the purpose. It was an Aldi website. Everything was there. Anyway, it had. Uh, I noticed they did tofu. I thought I've never seen tofu. And uh, one of the staff overheard us, and she said, "Oh, the tofu's here." And it's a, a block. It's quite small blocks. But it's ninety nine p. 
So I got the smoked and I got the plain. We'll talk about those tomorrow or to sample them, see what we think. The the great thing about tofu is it's quite, um, how should I say, you can do quite a lot of stuff with it. And because it's not a really overbearing taste, it tends to take the flavour of the stuff around it. Um, so if, it's not nothing like meat, but it can give some texture, um, you know, depending on how you use it. I mean, you can scramble it like a scrambled egg if you wanted to. Um, and it would give that sort of texture. I tend to prefer a harder to uh, tofu. Um, you can fry it and grill it and things like that. Um, so I've got those for tomorrow. I've got enough to make our lovely um, food. I also got a couple of live plants, um, herbs. Um, I think I got... What did I get? I can't remember. I know I didn't get parsley. I got basil... And I got something else. I don't. I don't think it was mint, but something along those lines. Um, I got all my garlic. Um, you know, all the lots of seasoning and stuff. Got my beetroot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're going to do a really, really exciting hot pot tomorrow. Um, we'll be going to be talking about the crock pot as well. But the crock pot is really good for cooking. Like you could stick all of your sweet potatoes in it, and just go to bed, and they'll all be done in the morning, and they're, they're all cooked. And then you can just put them in the fridge and that, uh, you can then use them in your stews or you can mash them, which is really a nice way of, um, you know, if, if you want to change, you know, because if you get bored of the crock pot, because it's going to last you. I mean, mine lasts me four or five days. I usually have two servings a day. It will serve eight people. Um, so anyway, got all that. There's other stuff as well. I'll talk about it tomorrow because I'm bloody knackered, guys. Honestly, I didn't didn't get back till sort of gone five or something. Anyway, so then we went off to Lidl and I haven't been to the Lidl, but I was looking for sauerkraut. I couldn't find any sauerkraut, but they've got an amazing oil section. Um, so I bought balsamic vinegar in a fancy bottle and I bought um, olive oils in, a, in fancy bottles and what else? Um, I think I think that was about it food-wise. But I've been after this George Foreman grill now for a couple of weeks. And I've been looking on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I was looking yesterday. I was, I was looking at people's kitchens and I was saying, God, that kitchen looks dirty. And I thought, you know, anything I buy, I mean, you know, they were five and ten pounds. One was 40, but that had gone. But, uh, you know, they were all pretty cheap. And you're you're bringing in the detritus of somebody else's. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm at the back of my cupboard where I store stuff that I never use, that I could sell on marketplace one day eventually is not the cleanest part of my flat. Um, I understand that, but but do you want to bring somebody else's you know detritus into your own zone? No, not for a cooking show. So I thought, right, well, just look in Argos. So I looked at Argos and they had the George Foreman for 20 quid. I thought, oh, I'll just get that tomorrow. Um, forgot, well, I was late for mum, so I didn't didn't make it today. So I thought, oh, I'll just get it another day, God. Anyway, Lidl, seventeen ninety nine. Uh, it's not a George Foreman, but a, a, my brother said, I thought George Foreman was a cook, a chef. And my brother said, no, 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 he was a boxer. He just lent his name. Obviously, he's on a high-protein, low-fat diet, as I am. Um, I think, you know, I'd really like a boxing bag. I'd really like one of those. My daughter's got one. She's only little. I mean, I don't think she's been using it well because she's she's had three children in fairly quick succession. Um, I think that's it now. So she might get back to thumping, thumping and living hell out of it. But I'd really like one and some boxing gloves. I think it's such hard work. I might go and have a look and treat myself. Now that I've got the studio, the dance studio, I've got all this room and it feels really spacious and lovely. I could actually, you know, I could dangle a, a bag in the corner. I don't know how noisy it would be, though. That would be might be a problem for my neighbours. I don't want to piss anybody off. You know, that's the sort of thing that could really make a racket, couldn't it, above or below. So, yeah, maybe not. Um, but I like the idea of it. Anyway... I so I've bought my I've got my grill and it's dinky and because I'm not going to be doing you know m huge meals for people I'm only going to be doing little ones for for me and for the show 
And I, I will tell you all that you just times everything by four, if if you know, or two, depending on how many people you're you're cooking for. Um, I suppose I better start writing ingredients down. There'll be ingredients lists um, on the blog and things like that. I mean, I've got suddenly I'm so organised. But do you know what? I've never been this organised with cooking uh, since my domestic science GCSE back in 1978. Yeah, long old time ago. And you used to have to write everything down and prepare everything in your mind. And it's taken me right back to those days. You know, write a pl- write a plan, write your bullet points, do things in order. I think I might be quite good at it, actually, if I do all that. Um, yeah, I reckon I'll I'll go and see if I can find sort of recipe maker um, templates that I can put on the blog because that would be really nice, wouldn't it? Um, now the other thing I I did get at little a a butternut squash. Yep, massive one. Now Mum says. You can do them in the microwave. So apparently you prick it around it with a fork and then you just stick it in and it does its thing. And then when you take it out, you top and tail it, cut it open, take out the centre, you know, all the seeds, and then you've got you've got your butternut squash. So uh, you can, I love butternut squash. I love it. Um, and I'm going to use the sweet potatoes chopped up in the the crock pot because it it ma- gives everything a really sweet thick creamy texture um but the butternut squash squash i'm going to do as a sort of a separate dish and you can you you know you can scoop that and then you can put your hot pot over it do you see what i mean um so and i also got this spray olive oil so i'll just spray a little bit it's one calorie i mean i don't know one calorie in what you know I suppose you spray one spray is a calorie, maybe. I mean, I haven't read it. We'll talk about it tomorrow on the show. Um, but you just spray that onto your grill and then you grill. But I haven't got anything to grill, of course. <laughs> so I've bought the grill and there's nothing to grill. Um, I mean, maybe I can find something. And what about the tofu? I could grill the tofu, could I not? That, that sounds like a really good idea, doesn't it? Yeah, and the thing with these grills is they grill top and bottom, so you don't have to turn anything over. But of course, I'm not. I'll be turning things over just to spy on the underside, check, just to check, check, check. I'm just about to read the um, instructions. So yeah, really worthwhile going to Lidl today. Um, absolute drama of getting it all home. I mean, I had to drop everything off at my place in the car. And then take mum home in the car and drop all her stuff off and then get my bike. And I had all the stuff on my bike that I got from Poundland earlier. (laughs) It's just like, I'm bloody knackered, guys. Absolutely knackered. I did do my flyer earlier, uh, my trailer rather, for the dance, the new dance um, system that we're doing at the Academy of Arts. And uh, everything's just tickety-boo and I'm really... I'm so pleased. Oh, and I'll tell you what else is just also that I had to pick up, which was another reason. I couldn't fit it on the bike, so I had to take that in the car, is my germinator, my my sprouter. So that's arrived. I'm just about to go and open that. Um, and my kitchen, it looks like I know what I'm doing, guys. This is absolutely a look that I've never had before because I've got all this really lovely natural ingredients around um, and all this gorgeous food with no additives, you know, it's just, it's it's looking superb, it really is. I mean, I did buy margarine, though, um, called Pure, which is a vegan margarine. Um, it is processed. Margarine is very processed. Um, but, you know, I, I want to be able to offer sort of vegan options. And I, and I figure, well, that's very vegan, isn't it? So um, we'll see what we do with that. I'll go and look up some recipes. I'm so I'm just beyond thrilled with I I'm I'm feeling like a chef, isn't that funny? I actually feel like a chef, and I haven't cooked anything. But of course, I've been cooking for six well, what fifty six. I was my parents had me cooking at a very young age. I was slave driven, slave driven. I was cooking because I got home from school early and I was doing domestic science. <laughs> they made me cook, um, but even before that, so probably from about twelve, you know. I'd been learned, I'd been taught to cook by my father, but I I was never never into it because it always I always acquainted it 
to slavery. But no longer, guys, no longer, no. 